Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I got a lot of questions on my Facebook and you know, you know, my uh, YouTube and stuff about. Well, the first thing um, was about Nexus and kind of how I how I use it and come up with uh, melodies and stuff. So I decided this would be a good video. To my um my videotape remake. I decided to use that one to kind of go over it a little more because um, I use Nexus a ton in this song. Yeah, I, like you know all those presets but anyways so originally I had this sample here I'll play it for you So that's the sample, okay, and then basically what I did was once I, you know, got my sample all evened out and, you know, synced to my, um, sync to the beat and stuff and, you know, having it all chopped up right, I basically just added melodies to it. So I opened Nexus and I, this is the first sound I put on there. And all I did was I just played the sample here, hold on. All I did was play the sample. And just kind of play with it and find the right sounds. Okay, so that's all you really have to do. You play the sample and then you just click around on the keys and whatever one sounds right, that's what you put in there. And then once you kind of find that first melody, you kind of have an idea of what, what keys to use, what keys go with the sample. So then, once you do that, then then it's easy from there. Um, so basically, this is like the first melody I came up with, based off of the sample. That's the melody, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, it's a long time, but also I put on um there's a delay function and a reverb function at the bottom of the um the Nexus thing. And I I turn up the reverb a little bit, you know, with the mix button right here. Um and I turn up the, the the delay a little bit in the mix. It makes it sound a lot uh it makes it sound better. You know, if you turn off the, the delay and the reverb, um this is what's what's what it what it's gonna sound like. See how dull that is? Yeah, so you know delay and reverb is great on Nexus. I love I always use it. Um and then after that I kind of put this choir in there. This uh, I found this choir, you know, and it's, again it's just really about finding sounds. You know, there's those sounds, you know, that are you know, you can use any sound, you know, it, it, using as many sounds or any, you know, if you use any sound, you know, you're gonna have your own sound and you're not you don't have to use what everybody else uses. You don't have to like say, oh hey, you know, let me get your FLP, you know, and get your sounds. No, you don't have to do that. Okay, you get your own sounds and then you're gonna come up with your own sound that way. Okay, you don't have to use, you know, what Lex Luger uses or what Sony Digital or whatever, whoever, Dr. Dre, I don't really care and you don't have to you don't have to use what they use. You, you could just, you know, I, what I do, I just go through my Nexus and just find and just click every sound and see how it sounds. And if I like it, I put it in. And I found this choir in um, the zombie expansion thing I downloaded, um, War Choir 2. And I, I, I like the sound of it. So I put it in my sequencer. And here, I'll, I'll show you right here. Put it in my sequencer and just played it along with my main melody. So when I had the main melody going, I just clicked for sound. I just kind of mashed up the keys. So I noticed. Here's one thing I noticed that the first. I noticed that the first melody started with, you know, this key right here. So I did the same thing with the choir. I made the first melody start with here, and then after that, you just kind of like it's kind of like improv, sort of. You just kind of, you just kind of click in sounds. So here. So I put the first one there, and then I made this one higher. And decided to go up here, and then down here. 
the key is you just got to make sure that you're in key. You have to make sure that you're you're not off key. Cause if you're off key, your song sucks. That's just how it is. If your your beat's gonna suck if you if you're off key. So you have to make sure that all of your all of your sounds are on key. That's all that I focus on. And then if that's the case, they're all on key, then you're gonna be fine. Okay, your beat's gonna sound good. So here, I'll play it right now. Alright, so you guys get that, and then um, the next one I came up with was, oh wait, never mind, um, let's see, the next one I came up with was this, I, I, again, this guitar sound right here. I mean, the, the way I found that, okay, yeah, I was just going through my zombie expansion and just, and I found it, you know, by just scrolling through all the sounds and I came upon it. And it's a great sound. I was like, oh, this is a good sound. So I decided to put it in my sequencer and use that. And it's the same thing. See, I started with this one key right here, like every other sound. And then I just, hold on a second. I just played the song again and clicked in keys to see what sounded good all right and again it's on key as long as it's on key it's totally fine so here's how it sounds right now Okay, um, what else did I put in? Oh yeah, and this is a really good bell arp that really kind of, uh, a really good bell arp that kind of that really completed the first bell sound that I used. Um, so here, it really just kind of, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, it just really kind of filled it in. Here, here it is. And this is it by itself, without the bell. This is what it really sounds like by itself. Alright, so I, I mainly put that in to kind of give this a little bit more, you know, my main bell sound a little bit more. Just, just make it sound a little better, you know, because... Bell by itself, it sounds good to me, but I put in the bell arpeggiator to make it sound even, even more, you know, complex and more, just better, I guess, I can't really describe it, but, and again, I stayed in key, okay, I stayed in key, and pretty much every sound I put in here, okay, it's the same thing, okay, I'm not going to go through every single sound, because I did that like two videos ago, but it's the same thing, you know, you don't have to use, you know, another person's sounds, you don't have to, you know, go on YouTube. I mean, I used to do this all the time, you know, when I was, you know, a couple of years ago and I wasn't very good at it. You know, I used to just go on YouTube and just look up, you know, videos with FLPs on them and download FLPs because I wanted to use their sounds and sound like them. But really what you got to do, you got to download your own sounds and you have to, you know, you just go through your sound bank and find any sound that you like, you know, what sound do you like and then put it in. Okay, the more original you are, the better your beat's going to be and the more people are going to like you because you have your own sound. Okay, you're not going to be bringing anything to the table if you sound just like Lex Luger or um, or anybody for that matter. So that's that. And um, oh yeah, um, what was I going to talking about? Um, oh yeah, and uh, another question I got about Nexus was just kind of bringing in expansions and stuff. So I actually just figured out kind of how to really do it. I, I, last time I did it on accident and it ended up working, but um. Recently, when I put this zombie expansion in, I put, um, you know, these ZBs, and I put in, um, 
put in this hex loops trap thing, which a lot of the sounds don't work. It's kind of weird, but you know, I put it in right, and, and these these other Nexus expansions. But what, what do you got to do? Is there are all these tabs right here? Um, library, mod, art, frequency, mix, live, and then there's system. So you click system, and you click import data, and then you go to wherever you save your Nexus expansions, and you click on them, and you bring them in. All right, so here, where did I put mine? Let's see. Oh. But yeah, basically, you just, I don't remember where I put them, okay, but I, I did, I, I downloaded the expansions from a website, and I just, you know, I, I went through my browser and imported them. So that's basically that. Um, that's how you do it. Okay, I showed you guys this stuff. Um, and system, oh yeah, and there's a skin button too, okay, I have all these skins, okay, slime, gold, cobalt, you know, etc, 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 so... That's how you put in skins and all that. I'm um, trying to find the one I, I just had. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's that. Um, that's everything about Nexus that I can think of. Um, again, if you have any more questions about that, just let me know and I'll answer them. And another thing that I, and another question I got was on my Young Shop video about, about um, how I did the beginning. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. Um, what is it? Hold on. I got a lot of stuff in here. It's definitely fine. Okay. Let's let this load for a second. <clears throat> Alright. So this is the uh, final mastered copy of this. Okay. So this, this is the MP3 right here. This is the exported MP3 from the original FLP. Okay, this is, and basically, what I did, okay, what I did was I went to Sampler, hold on, I just went to Sampler, I opened Sampler up, okay, I clicked this, I clicked uh, Sample, SMP, click the folder button, and then I went into my project file, and I just clicked, um, I clicked the exported copy, of my original FLP. Um, okay. okay, right here. I just clicked the exported copy of of the uh, of the beat. Okay, this is when I first made it. So this is when it's not mastered. This is what it sounds like. Without it. So I took all this, where you see all this stuff, okay, and I basically mastered that part. That's really all I did. Um, and I think I put my tag into it, I'm not really sure. But. So here's what I did. So I have it I have it in the sampler right here. So when I loaded the, um, the original MP3 copy of the original FLP and loaded it into my sampler. Okay, and you can load MP3s in your sampler, okay? It's no different than a WAV file. So what I did... What I did was I clicked this, I clicked this, and then I basically dragged it. Okay, when I dragged it, I dragged it on there, and then what I do is it says go in hard number two. Okay, so notice that. Okay, so I click go in hard number two in my sequencer when it pops up. You just when it loads in there, you just gotta double click it, and then when you press the brow this uh, sequencer, it'll show right here. Okay, so I click the drop down arrow, sign free mixer track. Okay, now I'm not gonna, here's basically what I did. When I did that, okay, it's all in here. I did that, I put in uh, free parametric EQ, and I brought this all the way down because that makes it really uh, deep and kind of distorted. Brought this down so you wouldn't hear any of the melody, all these down so you wouldn't really hear the melody. I turned the bass up so you really all you hear is, is just bass. Okay, now if I left out Blood Overdrive, it would sound, uh, I left out Blood Overdrive, it would sound, uh, it probably would sound really bad, so. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Hold on, sorry. Hold on a second. My bad here. What am I doing right now? Basically, I just... This is what I did. I basically just put in um, Parametric EQ, brought all these down, put these up. The ba I turned the bass up, basically. And I put Blood Overdrive in to kind of even it out. So here, let me just re let me just re-show you this, because I think I screwed some stuff up. But, um... Just give me a second here. Sorry, I kind of just... I think I screwed something up here, so... That's what it sounds like right now. If you take out... See, if you take out Blood Overdrive, it sounds... It's very loud, and it's very annoying. So you put in Blood Overdrive, you know, you increase this, uh... This post filter and the pre-band thing, and that way it's, it's even more drowned out, so it sounds even better. Um, and then basically what I did after that, let's see. Okay, so, I'm trying to remember what I did here. This is so long ago that I did this. Um, so I took the post-filter envelope, which is, um, right here okay I click this I right click this and put create automation clip and that ends up being this right here okay and then I also and then I also did um then I right click the blood overdrive in total this whole thing I did the whole thing and click create automation clip and that ended up being this right here and then I took the parametric EQ that I did right click that create automation clip and that ended up being that right there. So right now, with these with these up uh, th with these up uh, mixer presets in there, the whole time if it's all the way up, you know, if I have, you know, the mixer presets the full volume, it's just gonna sound like this the whole time. So right now I have the volume of each of these presets all the way up. So then I right click um, of the line here, and then it ends up being a dot, and then I right click again. And then I drag it down. So I drag it down so the volume is lower. And then I just took these um, and did the same thing. I did these a little later because, you know, it just makes it sound cooler. But yeah, so you make, so when you have the preset, you have the mixer presets in the mixer for your MP3. When you have those in there, you just write, you just create automation clips for both of them. And you have them all the way up. So therefore, it's either, that way it's, it's all, you know, distorted and, um, you know, bassy and stuff. But then you don't want your whole song to sound like that, so that's why you have automation clips. And um, you just turn the volume down all the way down of each of the presets you use, and then it's just back to normal again. So yeah, it's basically that. Sorry, I sorry that was a pretty uh that was pretty rough there. I kind of screwed some stuff up, but um, but you guys get the idea. Okay, you can load in your you can load in your MP3 just like you would um. A, you, you can load in your mp3 to the sampler just like you would a WAV file. Okay, you click your um, your exported copy of your original FLP and then you do all the stuff to it and then you re-export it again so then you have a final mastered copy of it. Alright, so that's basically that. Um, if you have any questions um, just let me know in the comments, personal message me, okay. Um, I also have a Facebook um, I'll put that in the description, okay, you can contact me there, and um, also, you know, if you're interested in buying any beats, they're pretty cheap, um, I sell leases for $15, um, and exclusives for $90, um, and, you know, I have the whole, you know, PayPal drop-down option on my SoundClick, so I'll leave a link in the description for that, so yeah, that's it, um, again, have any questions, just let me know, alright.